Horse flesh and dinner. Horse Can I flesh help you for there? dinner. Sure. They're supposed to be my business partners here. They arranged a meeting, I believe, about some horses. Mm. A fellow with a scar and a Mexican. Yes, sir. Out by the stables. Thank you. Have a wonderful day now. Yes, I am. Have you met my partner, Arthur Morgan? No. I met your son, the sheriff. Okay. Mr. Gray here was saying how he had problems with a family. A family of degenerates. Oh, well, nobody likes degenerates. Hag and her inbred sons. They ruined this county. They killed my uncle, you know. That ain't right. Problem is, we can't be seen to get too close. Mm -hmm. And? We've got gold, Yankee. We've got gold. I ain't no Yankee, friend. I ain't nothing. <laughs> My daddy came over on the boat from Scotland. I'm Scottish. And the Braithwaite's? Goddamn peasants. I don't know. Mongrels. Slave fuckers. All you gotta do is look at them. How much gold? Enough. These are prized horses I'm talking about. Them, they'll get you. Five thousand. Five thousand? For horses? Easy. And where do we sell them, these five thousand dollar horses? Over in Clemens Cove. Hell over there, we'll run them out of state and give you fifty cents on the dollar. Mister, you got yourself a deal. Just keep us away from this. Publicly, I mean. Mm. My sense is we keep all horse wrestling away from the public. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. In front okay. of you. Okay. All right. Eso. Crazy old fool. You should see the brave wave woman. Jose hmm. and Sean were planning on going over to the Braithwaite's. You haven't seen them? No, not yet. If they're there already, they better keep their heads down. You don't need this to be any more complicated than it already is. Five thousand dollars for horses. Well, you know. We've been robbing the wrong folk all these years. Yeah. Do that, yeah. He doesn't know what he's talking about. But if we get even a third of that. It'll be worth it. How are we going to play this? The place is well guarded, so there ain't no point in blasting in there. We'll make him. One second, boy. I know that he'll take a gun. I think we're there looking to purchase. Three armed men? You'd be armed if you were about to spend 5,000 on horses. We should go in the back way, though. Avoid too many questions. Ah! Guard. I'll speak to him, okay? <sighs> All right, then. Can I help you, gentlemen? Yeah, we're mm -hmm. here to see about some horses. Horses? Yeah, we had a, an appointment with Mr. Braithwaite, I believe. Yeah, I never heard about any of this. A partner wanted to make a significant investment in some stables down here. <sighs> but perhaps we should look elsewhere. Well, I... Okay there. Hmm? Head on up to the stables. Yeah, 
show you. That's it. Nice and easy. No need to rush. We don't want to draw any unnecessary attention. Just up ahead. Heads down. Play cool. Head okay. around the front. Hitch up there. Watch. It. All right. Let's hitch up here. Let me do the talk. you boys I hope so heard you got some horses we always got horses fine horses I mean I don't get you friend yeah you do come on listen why don't you get out of here you scarface and your greaser buddy whoa I don't like officials we ain't officials we're connoisseurs looking to mm. do some breeding come on now partner okay fine follow me <sighs> these here's mainly the studs available for purchase or for working that's what you're interested in what is your boys interested in we represent a famous uh, stable and stud farm from uh, saratoga is that so unofficially of course this here's cerberus a hot greaser huh <laughs> okay bandana's on don't need nobody recognizing this I'll grab the white one in the middle, you get the other two. Relax, boy. Come on. Good boy. Easy. Easy there. Easy there. Easy. Marshal, you're gonna tether him up to Javier's horse. Okay. Javier, you're gonna lead the stallions. Whoa. Hold it to them back. This way. Come on. I will not cut till the man get me. That's what I was too scared. Yeah. Marston, you ride point. I'll cover up the back. If there's any problems, regroup at Clemens Cove. Okay. What are you doing? Let's go quick. Get going, you two. What the hell are you doing? Stop! Stop! We're being robbed. Oh my god, that's so tough, hi. You see 
the stallions is loose. Keep going. I'll get them. Yeah. I thought I was the ज्यादा घूर है भाई कितना तेज चलता है smoother that'll be on my gravestone you think they look like they're paying five thousand for horses I guess we'll see Good evening, uh, bro. Heard you pay good prices for horses. Oh, we'll buy more or less anything, Pop. That so? Sure, Pop. I'm Clay Davies. That's my brother Clive. We're twins. John. John. Arthur. Javier. Mucho. So what are you? Cuban? No, I don't like Cubans. That so? Maybe. Well, what do you care? You ain't Cuban. Maybe I like Cubans. <laughs> Ooh, you're funny. He's funny. Ain't he funny, Clive? Clive don't talk. We're twins, but I was born first. He came out all yellow and black, but he's over there. Uh, sure. Yeah, I know these horses. They ain't yours, but I like you, and I'll give you... I'd give you 654. Okay. <laughs> I was told we could get up to five thousand dollars for him. But I was told the moon was made of ladies' tears. Only it ain't true. Not one little bit. But I like you boys. But I ain't got more than seven hundred on me. You want it, or you want to ride them fellers into town, and maybe someone there will hang you. You're gonna need more than that. I ain't got no more money, Pop. Here, take it or leave it. Uh huh. All right. Goddamn fool, Marston. Ain't no one around here got five thousand dollars, boys. But nice meeting you. <laughs> See you boys again, I hope. Come on, yeah. Close the gate, Clive. Oh, I need. Leave the yarn spun us by one of that Gray family. Imagine we was gonna be wonderfully rich. <sighs> At the end of it, we felt like prize idiots. How is your master? Horse flesh for dinner. Eight hundred and sixteen dollars. 